So in today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at this tiny little all powers solar generator. Uh, it's barely a solar generator. It's mostly just a battery bank. It has about 288 watt hours, but this is what I like to take with me when I need something super light. And uh, I basically use it for charging all my cord cordless tools. And uh, we're actually installing a solar panel stand right now. We're gonna be cutting a bunch of lumber. So this works perfect for keeping everything topped off. So I'm gonna do a quick review on the all powers portable solar generator. This is an extremely simple system. It uh, has two universal plugs. These are 120 volt, and then it's got two other AC plugs. What I didn't like about this is the fact that both of these little slats here are the exact same size. So with my Porter cables, I have a fat uh, piece of metal here and then a skinny one that does not fit in here. So I don't know why they didn't do that. I mean, it seems like it should have been super simple. But luckily, I always keep these uh, splitters with me here. And uh, these fit in here super easy, like so. And I've been charging a 4 amp hour, well, it looks like a 1.5 amp hour, a 2 amp hour, and a 4 amp hour battery. And this one's still charging, this is still charging, that one's still charging, and that one's still charging. Um, and this is already down to roughly 30% or so. So it definitely is, these batteries are draining it pretty quick, but these batteries will last me pretty long. And that's the reason I like to use this when I'm out doing these uh, really off-grid projects, when I'm out not anywhere near any power, is having little systems like this allows me to keep these things going, which allows me to keep doing the work and uh, just makes it real easy. So the fact that it's super light kind of helps. Uh, and then I got all these USB ports, make sure I've got my phone charged up and everything like that. All right, so now I'm back at my shop, back at home. And uh, this little all power thing has actually done really well. The fan is a little annoying. It almost just sounds like this little whirring noise, almost like the blades are rubbing on something. It's not just a blowing noise. Uh, but other than that, you know, it's, it's been very quiet and very easy to use. Again, this thing is super lightweight. I mean, this thing weighs like nothing. But uh, we see we're down to two bars out of six. And I was able to charge five cordless batteries with that. Uh, I just had to use a splitter here. So that worked out really well. Now I've got this solar panel from All Powers that goes with this. And it comes with all sorts of connectors in it. First of all, we have the wall charger that I've stuffed in here. Uh, but then we've actually got a battery connector. So if you needed to like jumpstart a car. So you plug this right into here and then you can actually get DC power right into these, which is kind of a cool feature. Uh, it comes with a little tiny, it's like a two foot long USB cord, just some carabiners. Now this is quite interesting. It's got all of these barrel connectors. Uh, it looks like there's a 7909. Uh, it doesn't say what all of these are here. So I'm not quite sure what uh, you'd use all of these for, but I do know one of these things this is good for is like laptops. You have different types of laptop connections. And this will oftentimes allow you to use an adapter to plug into your laptop. That way you can charge it, even if you don't have your own battery charger with you. And then we've got the car charger that comes with the unit. Looks like we've got a 5.5 to 2.1 millimeter barrel connectors here. Some more carabiners, more carabiners, and then as well the little user manual here. So this is a really compact, uh, I've been very surprised at how compact this is. Uh, this is something you could easily fit inside of a backpack, and it really doesn't weigh that much either, so I do like that. One of the things I like the most, flops right out, is it's got this USB connector right here. So it does have the ability to plug straight into here, as well as the 5.5 to 2.1 millimeter barrel port. You can plug stuff in right here, charge it up directly off the solar panel. Uh, they say it's waterproof. You can actually smell the waterproofing treatment on it. Uh, I haven't found it to be waterproof. It's mostly water resistant. Uh, very similar to like the Sungzu panels that I had in the past. I do like this little pouch right here. And then of course the idea is you can take these little loops and connect the carabiners and hang it up anywhere. I'm just gonna be setting mine here outside and charge this thing back up. So this panel cable is right about six feet. And the front side of this unit is all output. So here on the back, we've got the solar input and the wall input. And then they've got the 12 volt output here as well, in case you need to run something off the car charger. We'll go ahead and plug this in right here. And then I'll plug this into the solar panel. So this is one of those things that I really hate when companies do this. I mean, 5.5 to 2.1 millimeter barrel port is really common. So I could find a longer cable for this. But the fact that it comes with a six foot cable, this makes it really impractical for charging because 
I don't want to have to be six feet away from this. It's, uh, it really would be nice if they included something, even like a 25 foot cable would be better. I'm really not carrying a lot of load here. In the end, I really just don't care for the 5.5 to 2.1 millimeter barrel for it. It's just, you know, it's a common connector, but not very powerful. So we can see that this red light is on. That means it's charging. It turns on right away, but it doesn't show us uh, like this is blinking or charging or anything here. So it's not necessary that it does it here. It's just, it makes it feel like, it makes you wonder like, is it really charging? So it is charging. This should realistically take less than two hours to charge up because this is only a 288 watt hour battery and that's a 100 watt panel. So if it's a good panel and we're getting like 75 watts off of it, then you know this should really be charged up in two to two and a half hours because this is close to around 33% supposedly. So I've used this for my laptop. It works really well. My laptop's really power hungry. And so it can use upwards of 250 watts depending on what kind of things I'm running on it. And so this runs it for about an hour before it just goes straight to battery life on the laptop. But what's really nice, uh, like I showed you earlier, is recharging batteries. That's my favorite thing I use this for. Basically, I use some power strips here so I can get lots of batteries recharging. And this allows me to have something super light and recharge my batteries while I'm on the go. And I actually did use this on a road trip recently. I just had it in my truck. And we had some USB cords, but they couldn't reach from the USB plug in the truck to where the tablet was where my kids are watching a movie. And so we just plugged it right into here and it made it really easy to have this right next to them uh, and they could recharge their tablet and stuff like that. It made it really easy. So one thing you'll notice when I turned off the AC power here, that this display went away. So if you wanna be able to see the current charge, you have to have this on. This is one thing I wish it didn't do. Uh, it just seems weird to have to have that turned on to see the power. So I'm gonna go ahead and let this charge up and then once it's full, we'll do a load test. So this is something I wanna show you real quick. We can see that we're getting a charge from the solar. We got that going in. And I wanted to see if it had a charging capability to receive power from two different ports, uh, such as like a wall charger and the solar cables here. And it doesn't. I'll show you here. This is the wall charger. I've got it plugged into my Titan, which is what I use to run the power in my shop here. You see that light turns green, which means that it's full. And obviously it's not full. So you can hear it kind of switch over as soon as I plug this in. Hear that click? and then this is no longer providing power, only that is providing power. So it uh, can't do both at the same time, just one or the other. And right now I've got the all powers plugged into the Titan here through the watt meter. You can see we're pulling right at 60 watts. So this will charge at a rate of 60 watts per hour using the wall charger here. So that's gonna, probably gonna be about the same as the solar panel because the solar panel, we really have no way of testing, but we know that a good panel would be making like 75 or 80 in today's conditions and a bad panel would be making like 30 to 50. I have no idea the quality of that panel as far as the actual cells or anything, but I would assume it's about the same near 60 watts or so. Okay, so we're in the home office now. I've got the all powers all charged up. It took about three hours off that solar panel, but I've got the watt meter here. I've got my light bulbs and we're ready to do a load test. And we're just going to see how long it will run all of this equipment right at 350 watts, which is the inverter output uh, for this unit. Okay, we're 18 minutes in right now and uh, it's giving me this beeping alarm. It says battery's pretty much at empty. It's a little warm. It's still running though, so I'm not sure exactly what's going on. Fans running, still running everything. Maybe it's just a uh, low voltage alarm. But, uh, we're gonna run this until we can't anymore. Okay, so after six minutes, it ran uh, until it completely died. The, uh, it completely shut off. There's no power here at all. Uh, not even the DC power or anything. This thing is completely kaput. So 24 minutes was what it got for a full discharge right near 350 watts near its max limit. Uh, I rarely run it that hard, and so I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, and like I said earlier, this is pretty much my portable battery bank recharger. That's uh, that's what it's for. Well, there you go, everyone. Uh, that's pretty much it. This thing uh, does work pretty well. I, I only really like it for real portable uses. This is definitely nothing that compares something to like the Yeti or the Titan or any other bigger solar generator out there. This is the smallest one I've ever used. And 
it's just for recharging batteries. That's pretty much it. Running my laptop, it's very, very simple. You, know, you just turn on the switches and you're rocking and rolling. Uh, I wish it would charge faster. The specs here on the bottom do indicate that the solar input is from 12.6 volts to 18 volts from 50 to 150 watts. So you might be able to find a 150 watt panel uh, that you can connect to this and then charge it a little bit faster. Uh, but the problem is you're stuck with that 5.5 millimeter barrel port. So again, that's something I really d dislike. All Powers has been around for a while. And uh, from what I can tell, their customer service and reviews have been really good. I just found this on Amazon. Uh, I'll put a link down below if it's something that you're interested in getting. If you found this video helpful, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up and uh, share it with someone that you know. And as well, don't forget to click the subscribe button. Make sure you click the bell, that way you get notified when new videos come out. I appreciate your time, I appreciate you checking this out. For more information, please visit poweredportablesolar.com or you can also contact me directly at info at poweredportablesolar.com and I'd be happy to answer any of your questions. Uh, this is not something that's gonna run a refrigerator. Uh, I wouldn't trust it with the CPAP machines, just kind of a small battery, that'd be a really bad thing to run out in the middle of the night. But they are coming out with a larger system, it's called the Monster X, a Monster 1000, something like that. So. I can't wait to get my hands on one of those and then review it because it does look pretty decent. But thanks again guys for tuning in and we'll catch you all next time.